All right, guys. So um, let's talk about why I think Rambles forward one two two and his forward one two one plus three string needs to be buffed. All right. So uh, his forward one is minus seven on block. So like a character like Gears could take it upon themselves to get a free punish because they're gifted with a six frame poke, and this allows Gears to perform like a strike throw mind game, and then he can do like whatever the hell he wants to do. Another thing to take up note is that Rambles forward one two is like minus ten on block, right? And this allows Gears or any character in the game to possibly get a crushing blow or like a full combo punish on this character. Now, if Rambo was to commit to the forward one two two, the character is minus thirty on block, and this is where shit's about to get real because you can literally make yourself a sandwich, and you can just do bullshit like this, which that damage is ridiculous, right? Off of one mistake. Now. The problem with this is that if Rambo was to commit into the forward 1-2, there is a flawless by gap in there. So I can obviously go for an up 2, but I don't need to do that because he's minus 10 on block and he can't commit into the full combo string. So as you can clearly see, he's committing into the full combo string. As soon as I flawless block him, it prevents the character from actually doing that. Another thing to take a note from this particular situation is, is that the character's forward 1 looks like it can be low profiled as well. So keep that in mind. Right now, obviously, this is going to be used in close range engagements. He has pretty good frame data on it. It's actually 11 frames, so that's not necessarily bad. But this is the problem with the combo strip. Right now, his rewards, if he manages to mix you off of the two last hits that he has off of the forward one, two, two, which is the last hit right there, uh, which is the third hit, excuse me, and the forward one, two, one plus three string, which is the third hit of that combo string, his rewards are mediocre as fuck. Um, for such an unsafe combo string, right? So now we're gonna talk about his forward one, two, one plus three string. All right, guys. So when it comes to Rambo's forward one, two, one plus three string, um, the opponent's not necessarily gonna be afraid of this, is because the player that's using Rambo is more than likely not gonna throw you out the corner. Um, so this string is off the table, um, or mainly like the last hit, which is the one plus three. It's it's out of there. There's no reason for him to do it. Um, he would have to focus on just staggering his forward one and then committing into the forward one, two, two, if he predicts that you're going to take it upon yourself to, um, you know, let go of block or something because you think he's going to stagger. Um, you know what I mean? That, that's the only, that's the only thing he can do, really. Um, and what I think they need to do, uh, with this, uh, one plus three situation here is, is that they should make it to where you can hold the forward button and you can keep the opponent in this, in the corner pretty much. Right, like on the same side. Um, another thing that they can do is, is that they can also make it to where he can get dot damage to where he stabs you like multiple times, like on your neck or your back or something like that. And he can keep you on the same side if he wants to, or he can throw you away just like that. And it would cost him a bar meter, and that would be really good for him because if he goes for the forward one two two, it'll increase his damage since his combo potential is not that great, right? Um, so this will be pretty nice for Rambo. I would say that they could turn into a launcher, but that's that's a tad bit of a stretch, right? Now, um, that's what I think they should do with this because um, this actually limits his ability to put fear into the opponent um, and make them think or on which option you know Rambo's going to go for. Um, it's it's just too easy to know that the Rambo player is not going to take it upon themselves just to do this. You know what I mean? Like, he's not going to do that. Not unless the player is confident that they're going to be able to take it upon themselves to get in, throw you back into the corner, you know what I mean, and get you guessing again. You know, like, I mean, you, you got to really think about that. Like, that that's it's kind of dumb. Like, you're, you're, you're going to be working super hard and trying to make really hard reads to know, like, what they're going to do. And since they have bullshit defensive options in this game, like, you still have to watch out from that nonsense. So, um... You know, it's up to you if you want to do it. It's really up to you, but this is what I think they should do. They should make it to where, like, he can put you back on the same side if he wants to or throw you away, and he should be able to use a bar and meter to where, you know, he gets dot damage and stuff like that, and that will be really good for him. All right, guys, so when it comes to Rambo's Ford 1, he's minus 7 on block. So the way that I would change it is that I would make it to where the character is minus 6 just like this, um, and if he spaces it out, he should be minus 5 on block. Now, when it comes to his Ford 1-2, um, I think he should either be zero or plus one on block, right? So if the player doesn't want to commit into the mix-up, then they can create a mind game off of this. And I also think that they should uh, make his recovery a lot more better um, off of the second hit of the forward one-two. 
um, so that way he can, you know, press another button. Because if you notice something, um, I'm back dashing and it's taking quite a while for Rambo to recover. So I'll actually turn on my buttons and I'll mash it down one. You'll see what I mean. See what I mean? It's it's like a delay here. So they should speed up his recovery on that and that'll be really good. Now Rambo has some of the slowest attacks in the entire game. So it's really hard for this character to get like a really good um, combo on you. Um, his combo potential is not that great um at all so like um let's see here like i could do something like that and that's not even like that's nothing really you know what i mean um so i mean they could give him a plus frame you know because his reward off of the launcher is not that great not unless he gets like some type of dot damage that he can pretty much increase his damage but if you end up flawless blocking the second hit then he shouldn't be able to commit to the full combo string and you can decide on whether or not you want to up to him or up three him and they should make it to where like if you do flawless block him you can make it to where like he's like minus six or minus five you know what i mean um and he has to understand that his normals um are not going to be able to challenge anybody to a certain degree right um it just depends on what the player does with the character that they have you know um and that's something that they can do they can make it to where like he's like plus one on block and this will be really good for the rambo player um or just rambo just in general um and this is just my opinion you can keep him really minus on this uh hold on let me take that off you can keep him really minus on the forward one two two um i don't really mind that because you should be really minus on a launcher um but this is just my opinion right so uh let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below i'll catch you guys in the next video peace